welcome to another episode of GSC at Home. My name is Amy and today you are joining me for a very interesting episode. We are going to learn about food chains, what they are and why they're important for our planet and you are going to follow me out into the garden where I encourage you to join me for some food chain Tai Chi. Let's start with our first question. What is a food chain? A food chain is something that can help us understand how plants and animals get their energy and how all living beings are connected and have a big impact on each other. Food chains always start with something that we can call a producer. A producer is an organism that is able to produce or make its own food, like a plant. Do you know where plants get their energy? Plants get their energy from the sun. Sunlight is one of the most important things a plant needs to grow, along with water, air and nutrients. So most food chains start with a green plant. The next living thing in our food chain will be something that gets energy from the plant by eating it. So now we're thinking about animals, including insects and other bugs. We can call these consumers because they are consuming or eating to get their energy. Since animals can't make their own food like a plant can, they have to get their energy by eating. So let's think about an animal that might eat our green plant. Can you think of any? I bet you've got a few ideas, but we're going to go with a worm. As we move along to the next step in the chain, we now think about an animal that might eat that worm, like a robin. The robin gets its energy from the worm. When we have one animal eating another, we can say that the animal being eaten is the prey and the animal who is eating the prey is called the predator. We can say that if the worm is the prey, the robin would be the predator. There can be many plants and animals found in a single food chain, with the animals in the middle being predators to the animals that came before them, but also prey to the animal after them, which will eat them to get energy. Eventually, we get to the end of the chain. The chain always ends with a predator. The more variety we have in the plant and animal kingdoms, the more we can see that we have biodiversity. The word biodiversity just means a good mix of different species of plant and animal. There are many reasons why biodiversity should be encouraged. Biodiversity is extremely important for the health and well-being of humans. Biodiversity keeps ecosystems healthy and means we can keep growing food and making medical discoveries in nature. Healthy natural environments can clean water, slow down climate change and do something as essential as providing oxygen for us to breathe. Biodiversity also means keeping nature beautiful and getting out into nature can help protect our mental health. Not only is it important to us, as citizens of this planet, we have a responsibility to take care of biodiversity in nature and to limit human activities that reduce biodiversity. What is your favourite animal? Maybe you could do some research and find out the important ways that they contribute to biodiversity and food chains that they're a part of. Here are some things you can do to take action and protect biodiversity. Never harm animals that you come across outside. Reduce, reuse and recycle, which stops rubbish ending up in the natural environment and destroying habitats. Make sure you never drop litter out on the street or anywhere. Always put it in the bin. Okay, I think it's time we head out into my garden where we are going to do some food chain Tai Chi. Tai Chi is a martial art and started in China. It's all about flowing movements and can help improve balance, posture and reduce stress. Tai Chi is known to be a great way to meditate and improve your health and well-being. We are going to do our very own adapted Tai Chi today to explore food chains. The movements that I'm going to do will be mostly slow and will move easily from one into the other and shouldn't be too tiring to copy. If you make your movements faster and more energetic, make sure you warm up beforehand like you should do any time you exercise. I hope you'll join in. It can definitely be lots of fun. You don't need to have a garden to join in. 
Just make sure that you have plenty of space around you and you won't bump into anything. Let's get started. So to begin our food chain, we know that we should start with the sun rising in the morning, nice and bright and big. Next, we need something that will get its energy from the sun. Let's be a tree. So the sun rises in the morning, gives energy to the big tall trees. What might get energy from the trees? Caterpillars, they eat the leaves. The sun comes up in the morning, gives energy to the big tall trees, which give energy to the caterpillars. What might get energy from the caterpillars? Spiders. So the sun rises in the morning and gives energy to the big tall trees, which give energy to the caterpillars. which give energy to the spiders. What will get energy from the spiders? Birds. Birds eat spiders. So the sun comes up in the morning, gives energy to the big tall trees, which give energy to the caterpillars. Which give energy to the spiders. Which give energy to the birds. What animal could get energy from a bird? A cat. Cats love hunting birds. The sun comes up in the morning, gives energy to the big tall trees, which give energy to the caterpillars, which give energy to the spiders, which give energy to the birds, which give energy to the cats. And there we have it. We've gone through one food chain all the way from the sun rising to a cat out in the garden. So now you know how to do food chain Tai Chi. I have another food chain you should try out, making up your own moves. Here's the chain. The sun, which gives energy to grass, which gives energy to a grasshopper, which gives energy to a mouse, which gives energy to a snake, which gives energy to an owl. We'd love to see the moves that you do to act out the chain. Send us a photo or video via social media. We love when you try out our activities and we would love to see your Tai Chi routines in the form of a photo or a video. And please tell us about any food chains that you put together as well. Thank you for joining us for another episode of GSC at Home. I hope you had fun and hopefully we'll keep seeing you at 10am on weekdays. Until then, bye bye!